Hey Steve. Uh, I've noticed that Chad kind of dropped the ball. Haven't heard from him. <clears throat> Don't know if he's having camera problems or what, but the schmuck has just not been around. Okay, um, fuck you. <laughs> All right. What's up, Steve? How's it going? All right, so, Steve, you've asked a number of different questions. I can't read Tim's handwriting upside down. Well, um, the first one I wanted to go over is the one I forgot in my last video. It was uh, your 12-year-old self. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. What would you tell your 12-year-old self? What would I tell my 12-year-old self? Um, pay attention in school. Uh, don't trust a hoe. And you never trust a hoe. And, um, I don't know, because I, I still don't know what I want to do yet. That's fair, but here, let me add in. Would your 12-year-old self listen to you? Probably not. He wouldn't have the uh, he wouldn't have the knowledge that I have now in order to know what qualifies as a help. It's very true. Okay, moving from there. Um, what do you want to get from this uh, video series? What do you want to get from starting a channel with us? Did you answer that one? I did not. Did I you posted answer the 12 year old? I did not. You should answer the 12 year old and then we'll move on. My 12 year old self, I would tell him to try to be less naive. Open your eyes a little bit and respect that other people's thoughts are nowhere near as close to you as you think. Because really, I've always been naive and I still am. I always assume things about people that end up wrong. <laughs> On the flip note, I would say trust your gut. Because you, you, every time that I ignore my gut, I get screwed heavily. <laughs> heavily. Heavily. And don't date psychic vampires. That's a big deal. That yeah. was a big one. Or, uh, crack horse. <laughs> Yeah, stay away from that. Twelve-year-old Chad, no crack wars. And no psychic vampires. <laughs> anyway, what I want to get out of this is just staying in touch, having some fun. It's real simple. Okay. Now, the reason I wanted to do this, <laughs> I always uh, you know, just wanted to get my voice out there, and this is a great chance to do it and stay in touch with my friends, which is go. ideal all around. Let's make it happen. What do we got? Now, the next one I kind of posed as a very ambiguous question. So for that, I apologize, Steve. Um, how would you define yourself? I think you touched upon this on your Steve Hawking video, but... Yeah, creative. I love that. I love that. <clears throat> creative, funny, always looking to outdo myself from the last time. Whatever it is. It's true. Whether it be guitar solos or funny videos or... Random acts of stupidity. Coming soon, a video of me attaching a rocket to my arm. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot a rocket out of my arm. I wanna see this happen. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Okay. <laughs> now, Joe posed this question this week um, What's the most important thing in your life? Mm. I know it sounds cheesy, but I would have to say friends because I have nothing else. <laughs> like friends and family because they're. I'm like for like you, you know, you have Fox, you know, you have a number of different things. Like Joe has Liam, Joe has Molly. You know, I would imagine those would be the most important things in his life. I don't. I have a dog. I've got a cat, and then I've got my grandparents and my mom and my sister. And those are, you know. Those family members and my friends are the most important thing in my life. That makes sense, yeah. I got not care less about anything else. Well, for me, I don't know. Like, my life, everything in it is kind of a chain upon itself. If any piece of it broke, I would have a lot of trouble recovering. Um, you know, probably the most important thing to me right now would be Fox. You know, keeping her close and keeping her happy. 
It's my daily goal. <laughs> there you go. Meanwhile, my life is a chain too, but if any link breaks, I just say fuck it. <laughs> like, move on, yeah. And move on. Because I don't, I don't dwell over things. I don't... It happens. You know, uh, I move on. Definitely. Now, the last question that Joey posed in uh, his most recent video was, um, where do you see yourself in five years? And when he asked this, I had to wonder if I was in an interview for something. <laughs> yeah. Because I've, I've had this question posed to me before, but let's do it. What do you think? I hope to be working for the government. No, um, I hope to be working for the government as a translator. Um, I was never really good with that. Uh, planning ahead and seeing what the future was going to hold. Like, I was just, I didn't care. I was more of like a live for the moment type of guy. You know, like I make plans, they just never go through. Yeah. I think to a large degree I'm the same way. Once I'm comfortable, I don't want to move around much. Mm -hmm. So, wherever the world takes me is where I'm going to be. Um, if I'm still at my same job, cool. If I'm not, I hope I'm doing better. If, um, you know, me and Fox will hopefully still be together and married by then and... Wish you luck. Good times with that. <laughs> Wish you luck. Yeah. But I'm confident for the future, you know, whatever ends up happening. I'll be like the last single one out of the of us. That's fine. That's yeah. respectable too. I gotta wait until they develop like robot women. <laughs> Move to Japan. I saw that. <laughs> and actually, that's something I've always wanted to do, is uh, learn Japanese. A robot woman? Well, who doesn't? <laughs> no, I've always wanted to learn Japanese and go like over to Japan and work there and live there for a while, but... I wanted to do that with Germany. That'll probably never happen since I'm uncomfortably never going back to school. I am and it sucks. It sucks big time. But, they can provide you a wonderful opportunity. Hmm. Yep, there's plenty of opportunities to kill myself. <laughs> I'm sitting at home doing this Arabic. My head. <laughs> That's a joke. It's terrible. I'm sitting at home. It's like, I told you this. It's like, you know, we taught you the Arabic alphabet and we showed you some pictures of people eating bananas. Now translate the Quran. So it's like six out, or six pages of translation due every single night and they haven't taught us word one of vocabulary. So, wow. It sucks so bad. Well, but yeah, I mean, I'll have plenty of opportunity to, like, if and when I complete this course, if I get a good job working for the government, I'll have plenty of opportunity from there. So yeah, it does provide opportunity. I'm not saying it doesn't. I know better. But. Pain in the butt in the meantime. Pain in the ass. Royal pain in the ass. Steve, I don't really have any questions to pose for you this week, but I will be releasing a video very shortly. In which you will think of questions. I know. Yeah, I'm going to bring up some more questions and we'll have something good for you, but really, this is a good chance for Chad to get on a real camera. Yeah, I know. But uh, until then, take care, Steve. We'll talk to you later. Bye, Steve. Bye, Steve. Hi, Steve! <laughs> she looks so pissed! Confused and pissed at the same time. It was amazing. She's well, like, I'm a woman, this, I'm this, not Steve! This, this group, this group, there's a couple guys there. Hey, hey Steve! How's it going? <laughs> he just, he didn't care. <laughs> just, yeah. He was just like, yeah, I'm Steve. <laughs>